Pranita Subhash now joins me on India Today. Pranita, it's a billion strong country, 80% Hindus and yet you felt the need to put out a poster, Hindu Lives Matter. Why? Absolutely. Just like you said, I'm really shocked that us living in a Hindu majoritarian country and today I have to defend my own dharma. If this happens somewhere in Kashmir, which is a Hindu minority state where there's militancy or, and terrorism, I can at least console myself thinking this is a byproduct of all of it. But this incident has happened in Udaipur, in a state like Rajasthan, which is Hindu majoritarian, and where most people have voted for BJP in the past as well. So it's really, really shocking that an incident like this has happened in broad daylight. And this was just to prove a point. And this is not the first time, whether it is the Palgar Sadhus, whether it was Kishan Bharva in the past, or whether now it's Kanaya Lal. It's just absolutely shocking. And I think that now the need has come that we have to stand up for this. Otherwise, okay. where will all this end? Where, is there an end to all of this? All this is hate this crime your, and... Is this your fear that it is only, God forbid, likely to escalate? And is this your contention that in our country, in a Hindu majority country, as you say, Hindu lives don't matter? Absolutely. This incident just goes to prove that Hindus can't even have an agency. And at the end of the day, I was just speaking about our own community, which went through several hate crimes. And as you said, this should not be the end of it. Now, let's be very clear about this, Dora. This was actually done because of the tailor's support to Nupur Sharma. And without going into the politics of it, I can tell you that this was because an alleged blasphemy was committed. So if okay. this is the way they're going to solve a problem, if this is how they're going to tell everyone that uh, that is, that this is how they're going to prove a point to everyone. So you fear that this is, this is actually show of strength, that any, any issue that needs to be settled has to be settled in courts of law in a democracy. Is that the point you're making? Are you apprehensive or is this your contention that outrage, I mean there's selective outrage in our country, uh, people react sometimes and they choose to bury some incidents under the carpet. Is that your apprehension? Absolutely. So, um, you know, on one hand, we have Hindus who are extremely tolerant. When uh, people make fun of the shivling, there are, uh, there's someone who made a meme out of a satellite and compared it to a shivling and a nuclear reactor. And yeah. uh, this person was awarded with Excellence in Journalism Award. And on the other hand, someone just questions all of this. And to prove a point, they're murdered. The supporters of this person is murdered. This, they haven't even committed blasphemy. So this, it just shocks me as to how uh, tolerant we are and yet how intolerant all the other dharmas are. That's a point that the country needs to grapple with because those images that were broadcast across the country and that was you know, the way these, these, these killers, they not only killed Kanhaiya Lal, they filmed it, they bragged about it, and they shared it on social media. And you say, this will haunt you, and then in that social media, uh, in that tweet of yours, you ask, will it? Or will you know, it? Will it Absolutely. haunt you? Why, why do you say that? Why do you feel that? Because as we have seen in the past, whether it's the Palgar lynchings, whether it was... Kishan Badwa, I've seen how Twitter just gets enraged. There's a hashtag that's trending for about 24, 48 hours. All the who's who of BJP and uh, come out in support of it. And then what? And then there's no solution to it. It just, the, the uh, incident just dies down. And days later, again, it surfaces with the murder of somebody else who's innocent. And it, this should not continue. And I think that today time has come that us Hindus, we really need to stand up for ourselves Time has come that we need to defend our own dharma and it's really, really sad that in my own country, uh, just for the sake of our, us practicing our own dharma, you, really, you have to stand up and defend yourself. That's really sad.
in a democracy, in a secular democracy, you are saying that Hindus have to stand up for themselves despite being 80% of the population. And you've also asked, is anyone listening? Why do you think that if, if there is this cry that goes out from you, why do you think no one's listening? Because I feel that um, as uh, our dharma has, has been known to be tolerant, has been known to be peaceful, has been known to not take violence as a root. However, I don't see that coming from anywhere else. I, like what has happened now is just the most heinous violent crime ever that I've seen. And I think the, the video is absolutely shocking. So I had to say, is anyone listening? Because I really need attention for this campaign, which is Hindu Lives Matter.